Let's try this again. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And what you see here is my unboxing of my brand new 17 inch electric tabletop indoor griddle. Let's take a quick tour around it and we'll talk about it. I just picked this up today at Walmart and you can't buy this online guys. You have to pick it up at Walmart and um, how much was it? $125 which is a great price for this. And <laughs> I picked up the last one at my Walmart and I just checked and it's out of stock at my Walmart so I really did get the last one. See the Blackstone logo on the hood? Let's lift it up. I just got it a couple of hours ago. I do know this goes up to 500 degrees which is absolutely fantastic. This is what the bottom of the griddle looks like guys. And you see these little feet thingies right here? I'm going to show you. These actually fit into a groove to keep it in place securely. Like right here. One there. One there. And they fit in like that. And it keeps the griddle secure for sure. This is the top. Nice little handle. Nice grip. It's got like a like an orange tint to it. But it's still, you know, see-through. See? This is the drip tray, y'all. I like you got this little part here that you can grab it away really quick. So I'm just going to use it to put it on. So you have these little hook things on each side. And you just put it on. Boom. This is the cord. Decent length. Three prong plugs into there. Your cover will hook into this part and detach with this part as well. I had to have this. This is something that I was looking for. Um, I like the style. I like that this griddle comes off so you can go ahead and bring this to your sink and clean it off very easily. Of course, it's not dishwasher safe. But we can bring it, we can put it in our sink and, and clean it properly. So I do like that. But anyway, I'm about to go to bed. We're going to wake up tomorrow and make some breakfast. I'll see you then. Good morning, y'all. Well, you saw it. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, guys. And I'm ready to get cooking. Look at that. You see the service a little better in the day. It looks fantastic, guys. Shout out to my meat market. Y'all gonna get a Doug style breakfast today. We're gonna start off with some bacon. This is some um, in-house smoked bacon. So this should be really good. I'm, I'm dying to taste it. It's expensive, too. I think it was $10 for a pound. And this is a half a pound right here. So it's crazy. It better be good, right? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm ready to fire this up. Ooh, nice. Alright, so we know, we already know that it can go to 500. You saw that on the thumbnail. So this goes up to 500. Bacon, I think I'm going to go, well, I guess I'll do 425. And I guess I hit this. Yeah, there we go. And so it's going to heat up. I'm assuming that this part will increase as it gets hot, so you can kind of track where your preheat level is, I guess. But we'll see. We'll learn together. See? It says hot surface, so I guess we're ready. All right, guys. Time to christen this baby up. Look how thick this bacon is. Jeez. This is a real deal. 
Now remember, I only have it at 425, so I bet if I had it at 450, it would have really sizzled. But you have a sizzle. And this is the last one. This is what it says now. So I guess when you see that orange thing that you're really ready to roll. This surface is definitely non-stick guys. This bacon is just slipping around all over the place. I like that. You do see a little splatter when the hood is up and not all the oil per se is draining out but I did see some earlier well you can see it you see it there you see a little stream of oil going to the drip pan all right guys so the bacon is done to my liking and and it's going in the sandwich anyway so well not all of it about two pieces or maybe two and a half all right let's take it down how do I do that? Do I press this? Oh. And I'm going to take it down to about 350. So we just cooked bacon. I didn't have any concerns with smoking. You know, too much smoke coming out of the machine or anything like that. Nothing like that. This surface is top notch. Don't, like I said, I don't know. It just says non-stick in the manual. But this is absolutely fantastic. Nothing sticking to this thing. It's just straight ice skating on it. <laughs> All right, let's continue. We got three eggs here. And let's see. Now we're on my island, which I would believe is level, but. I see things drifting to the right a little, so maybe it's not. <laughs> That's all right. Like I said, I got it at 350, which is, we'll cook this nice and slow. Got some monster cheese, y'all. I'm going to add some more cheese later when we make our sandwich, but see you guys. Whee! <laughs> now, you guys probably thought I was going to eat this whole three eggs. Wrong! Half today and a half tomorrow. Or whatever I just cut. <laughs> All right. Now, I do see it says zone temp. I don't know if this actually has zones. It'd be nice, but I don't know for sure yet. I'll look some more into the manual because, like I said, I haven't even had this machine even 12 hours yet. I bought it yesterday when? Uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening? Yeah. So, anyway, we got our roll. And we're going to sop up some of that good old 
bacon grease. I'm gonna toast these bad boys. And to conclude this video guys, when I'm finished, I'm gonna clean the hood, the inside. It looks like you see the splatter there, obviously we made bacon and so forth. I think some degreaser should be able to, should be able to get rid of that easily. So I'm gonna detach it, put some degreaser on there for like, you know, three, four minutes and, and see what happens. It should it should be easy cleanup. Well, we're looking good guys. It's time to build the sandwich Doug style. Y'all ready? I just love this surface. Blackstone, can you make your outside uh, griddles with this surface? That would be fantastic. It probably couldn't take the weather, I know, but it, hey, I could wish. <laughs> All right. This is from a rack from one of my pressure cookers. I like to use them on my griddle to build my sandwiches. I could take this off now. I'll let that melt for a little bit. Let me close my hood. Looking good, guys. It's been about, what, two minutes? Oh, yeah. I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out racks. I like this rack better because I want to keep stacking it. Now, kids, don't follow me at home now. Now, I'm sure Blackstone in their manual says not to probably put a rack on the surface. <laughs> oh, actually, before I put my egg on, hold on. Let me go ahead and put some guacamole on there. That's Doug style. Oh, yeah. One more. One more. I want to taste that in every bite. I'm tripping because I almost forgot my bacon. That's what happens when you do too much. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Y'all have one while we wait. Take a bite. Got it? Alright. Alright, now we're ready for the egg. Or half of the egg. Boom. Sorry guys, I'm from New York. I have to have ketchup on my eggs. I'm, I apologize. That might not be the thing where you live, but how I grew up, it's blasphemous without ketchup with your bacon, egg, and cheese. It would be blasphemous. All right, I'm being extra now. I got a Kobe Jack cheese. I'm being extra. Let's do a test. Can it close with all of this? Probably can't. Let's see. No. No. So at this height, guys, you wouldn't be able to close it. But like any type of steak, I don't care how thick your steak is, you'd be able to close it in this. So this has some good height. I'm just, I'm just testing it, and giving it a good run for its money. But the clearance on the on the hood is good though. It's hood. I'm just being extra. It wouldn't be Doug style without a red onion. <laughs> I'm going to put some Duke's Mayo on the top of the bun, and then we should be good. Alright, let me take a picture for my thumbnail, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm ready to eat. Just wanted to show you to turn it off. You just press this down, and boom. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. Alright, you saw the paper towel go up, so you know what that means. It's time to eat. <laughs> yep. It's my type of sandwich. Anyway, you first. You got it? Alright, I'm going in. Mm. Mm-hmm.
red onion, that bacon. Mmm. Guacamole. It's just too good. One more bite. You got it? Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I must have choose. Mmm. All right. This is absolutely fantastic. All right, so right now I got like a damp paper towel. Because this is bacon, so I don't mind it kind of sitting on there. I mean, not all of it, of course, but. But I'm telling you, this surface is, I don't know what it's made of. Of course, it says just nonstick, but I'm telling you. Top notch. This is the best indoor surface that I've ever worked on in my life. Cleanup is a cinch on the griddle. So now let's get to the hood. I will tell you that your power uh, cord right here, it wobbles. It can wobble out easily. Not easily, but almost easily. See? You move it around a couple times and it can come out. The true story, yesterday I thought I broke it because I was moving it around doing the you know first part of the video and then I went away to do something for like an hour. Then I came back and it wouldn't power on. It's because this wasn't pushed in all the way. So just be mindful of that. I love this little hook thingy or whatever you call it, handle. Can easily take it out it doesn't feel hot at all I just finished cooking about three minutes four or five minutes ago so I'm going to put this in my bacon grease jar all right the inside of the hood has plenty of splatter from the bacon I got the old trusty faded out Dollar Tree Grease lightning, y'all. Degreaser. Any degreaser is fine. And I'm not saying the manual said to use degreaser to um, to clean this. Just in my experience, I'm doing it. So I'm not saying that's what the manual says. But, I mean, it's grease. This is what degreaser does. Gets rid of it. It's been about three, four minutes. Don't want it to dry on it. I'm just going to wipe it away and see what happens. So far, so good. Here. Oh, perfect. That was easy. Use some Windex on the top. Not like the top should have gotten dirty, but I'm just going to wipe it anyway just to see what happens. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, bam, this thing's clean. Throw in some degreaser in this, let it sit for about five minutes. Clean to perfection, guys. All right, guys, so let me give you a look at it without the hood on. And this is with the hood on. Well, guys, that's the end of my review. I, I love this machine. And I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. For 2021, this is the best indoor griddle that you can buy. It goes up to 500 degrees. The surface is super nonstick. Um, it has a hood, a see-through hood. That's easy to clean. Um, yeah. Has a, it has a sleek look at the dial. It's digital. I mean, what else do you want? It's a go. Again, I got this at Walmart. I You cannot right now. I don't know if in the future, but right now. And you know Blackstone is like Walmart exclusive. So you can only get this Blackstone pretty much. Some of the older stuff on Amazon and eBay. But like if it's new, you're only going to be able to get it at Walmart pretty much. So right now, you can only get it at Walmart. And we're in March right now. Was it March 10th or something? Yeah. 
You can only get it at Walmart, and you can't buy it online at Walmart. You have to go in and buy it. In, in house purchase only. So I had to go in there and buy it. And I bought the last one. It was 125 with tax. I think it was 119 then plus tax. So it, it's worth every penny. So that's that's it. Look out for more cooks on this machine. It's a definite go. Um, it, nice size. It can cook for a family of, of you or a family of four or five. Easily. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. And we out.